so welcome students to one more session of your hydrocarbons chapter now we have already completed different types of reactions of alkenes we have studied the addition reactions we have studied the allylic substitution reactions then we have studied combustion reactions oxidation reactions now we'll be studying the ozonolysis reactions of alkenes so the basic the same thing will be the basic idea of ozonolysis we'll be studying in alkynes also right so what actually is ozonolysis ozonolysis is nothing but just let us write the definition first so it is nothing uh, but an oxidatively cleaving alkenes okay or as i said alkynes also so it is oxidatively cleaving alkynes with what to am i uh, cleaving alkynes i'm going to use uh, o3 okay ozone molecule is o3 isn't it what is o3 it is a a reactive allotrope of oxygen okay so what am i going to do i'm going to explain you step by step i said we are going to ozonolysis is a process of reactive cleaving of alkenes okay the oxidatively cleaving of alkenes or alkynes using ozone that is a, a allotrope of uh, oxygen you know what allotropes is it is the same uh, so existing in two or more forms carbon for carbon dryman is an allotrope graphite is an allotrope buckminster fullerene is an allotrope right so ozone also like uh, naturally also we have we'll discuss about that topic also so ozonolysis this ozonolysis occurs naturally that is what is important okay i'll be teaching that process also very soon right so how does this occur suppose if i have to take let me take an example and explain you so now this is an alkene okay c double bond c is an alkene now i'm going to add ozone to this o3 molecule right how does it go and add just see there is a cleavage of this bond here right this bond this pi bond and see here see carbon carbon these two bonds are here this also is here these two bonds are here this also is here now this oxygen molecule it attaches to this around the double bond one oxygen here one more oxygen here one then this is one more oxygen this so 1 2 3 3 oxygens over now fill in the electrons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now for this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 for this 1 2 3 4 so 5 6 7 8 then now this particular thing for the <coughs> it forms two different products so for the first product is c double bond o there is a cleavage of the bond here here in this way and this here also and it forms c double bond o you see here c double bond o right so 1 2 3 4 <laughs> one product and one more o 1 2 3 4 this is the product two products are formed what are these products these are called carbonyl compounds okay carbonyl compounds or carbonyl products okay let us see in detail what what are there here for both let us uh, see the reaction now let me explain you the mechanism of ozonosis then you'll clearly understand what actually it is so let me take a fresh page right so now we will learn <clears throat> the mechanism as i said we will see how, how where is it adding how is it uh, adding around the double bond so let us write mechanism of ozonolysis reaction that so understand carefully students let me underline this stuff first of all this is called electrophilic addition of ozone so this is called ear electrophilic addition reactions of o3 now in the first step let me take carbon double bond carbon now this is your alkene now ozone molecule should add to this so ozone structure is o single bond o double bond o because this is resonating and this keeps resonating in this direction here and here correct right so now fill in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 now for this oxygen 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 over right so the first important thing is there is when ozone adds to this molecule there's a cleavage of this bond isn't it right so this pair of like elect this particular electron is shifted to this when this bond is broken and this one is shifted to this first important thing before that what will happen this bond whatever is there is going to shift towards this oxygen that should happen first not this should be happen second first there is shift of pi bond here so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 when the shift of pi bond plus sign when this is this becomes minus right once this shifts so once again step 1 there is shift of pi bond this becomes plus and this becomes minus so this 
electron is shared with this carbon how do you get how does this look this looks like this carbon two bonds are here it is bonded to this one more carbon two bonds are here it is bonded to this one more oxygen isn't it right now let's fill <coughs> Oxygen is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for this oxygen. Now for this oxygen 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. For this oxygen 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8. This is done. Fine. So now this compound is called molozonide or molozonide. Okay. Done. So just see observe carefully. This bond from here shifts. From here this bond shifts. So this is shifting here this is shifting here then we are going to get two products right two products what are the first product right so here the, when this is shifting in this direction carbon O plus this whole thing has shifted here so this becomes this whole thing is here only this is attached like this only isn't it so you have carbon present with the bonds bond oxygen single bond oxygen now fill in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, positive sign for this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Negative sign. Right? So, this is called carbonyl oxide. Carbonyl oxide. In the next step, what happens? Right? So, uh, this is, you know, I think, the, you know, why should I, I should not write plus here this this part is broken in this way this whole part is broken in this way done okay i'm sorry this should not be plus this is carbonyl oxide now in the second step what happens right so now it is at step two you have this c double bond o in the earlier step and this one carbonyl oxide plus and minus this bond from here is going to shift to this carbon this oxygen from here is going to shift to this carbon. Both are in equilibrium and finally you get a mal ozonide. This is your ozonide. Okay, this is your from mal ozonide, you're going to get ozonide. This is your basic thing. This is how it forms. This the this is the formation of ozonide in the reaction. Okay. This is the mechanism of xenolysis. Now, let me take the same mechanism and <coughs> apply it in different examples. Suppose if I take this example, like different different examples are stated, like uh, you have in your textbook also, like different uh, things. We will try all the possible combinations and just try it. So, first example is if I take this alkene in the exam, suppose this alkene is given to you in this way. Now you have to add ozone. I told you, isn't it? So ozone. So we call this as reductive work up. Reductive work up. So as I told you, it forms molozonide. After molozonide, it's going to form ozonide. So during this process, there is a cleavage of the bond, right? And you get two products. Same. Uh, the procedure is the same. I'm directly writing the products. That's it. Go back to the mechanism, understand the mechanism, and then come back and write the product. CH and double bond. O. See here, this part is here. This part is here. Okay, done, isn't it? So this is how you have to write. Suppose if I take, let me take number this as first example. Now I'll take one more example. Carbon here. Okay, C double bond. C double bond C. CH3. CH3 oxygen. Again, a reductive workup. Same thing. Now I said this is broken and so you will get two products. Oxygen plus the bond O. Done. Now, one more example we'll try. Third example suppose if I have an alkene like this, one methyl group here, the C3H7 here, the chain is increasing basically. C3H7 here. Now I'm going to add ozone to this. Again, same reductive workup. So again, this will break in this direction. This will also break. What do I get? CH3, CH, double bond O. And C3H7, carbon, 
CTH7 double bond. Oh, hope you are understanding, students. Both see here. This, this one and both. Both I am writing in this direction, this direction. Both the things I am just breaking and writing two different products. Let us take one more example and see. Suppose if I have this compound, okay, this is given to you. You need to do the ozonolysis. Again, same thing, reductive uh, cup. What will happen? Let's see the products which we are going to get. Just see, I'm opening opening up the chain now. I get CH3 here. This one is here. So next one, it's going to add one, two, three, four. Oh, see, it's three. See here, now count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is the one. Okay, now six, seven, eight, eight. Over, isn't it? So this is the product. Now let's start. Let do one more. Suppose let us take the fifth example. Suppose this is given. This compound is given to me. This compound is given to me. I need to do ozonolysis process. So this in the presence of O3. And next, we are also going to use one more that is zinc in the presence of water. What is the use of this? This this zinc helps in the process of reduction. First, it will undergo or it will form ozonide. Then it undergo further reduction. That's why this is called reductive ozonolysis because we are using a reducing agent here. So again, I'll break the bond here. I get two products. One product is CH3, CH2, aldehyde, and one more product I get is this. So please remember, I am just showing directly now. I've shown the mechanism earlier. Watch the mechanism, practice the mechanism, see how malozenoid is formed, and then ozonoid is formed, and then try to apply that in this example. And yes, so now one more example. Suppose this alkene is given to you what is this alkene this alkene that is named this one two three four five pent isn't it so which pent it is pent to in right so when i take this pent to in again uh, first condition ozonolysis second condition reductive uh, ozonolysis in the presence of zinc and water again i get two products okay well, let me write that down okay, i think this is confusing let me draw a line for this we will get two product i am holding this here this particular bond both the sides oxygen adds so what do you get ch3 ch2 cho okay that is double bond o plus o this isn't it this here o this is ch ch3 so this is propanol this is ethanol isn't it two carbons right let us do one more example and see suppose if i am taking the seventh example so ch3 now ch this is alkene now here yeah now i have a substituent here the same process your teacher has asked you to do ozonolysis you have in the presence of uh, zinc that is reductive ozonolysis so what product again you should hold your this one here break it in the center this will be one oxygen and this will be the other oxygen so ch3 CHO plus CH3 again CH3 both are linked to carbon and C double bond group. Now here we have got acetaldehyde acetaldehyde and what is this? This is 3 carbon propanone ketone 1 aldehyde and 1 ketone. So these are the different examples of ozonolysis students. So I have done how many examples? Let me cross check again. First I have done 1, 2, right 3 4 5 6 and 7 examples i have done for ozonolysis right last but not the least let us write the uses of ozonolysis so basically it will help us to locate uses of ozonolysis reaction Ozonolysis. Ozone means addition of ozone by lysing it by breaking it so ozonolysis reaction it helps us in locating position of double bond position of double bond in alkene and what else can be used it can be used in explaining the structure of alkene. elucidation means that it like help in explaining it's the structure of alkene in elucidation of 
structure of alkene so these are the different thing so once again let us revise what what we did for ozonolysis let me take back my papers so whenever ozonolysis reaction is given to you just uh, see students i'll just come back again whenever ozonolysis is given you have to write the definition of that after writing the definition of that you need to tell uh, your uh, teacher like uh, you know other the examiner whoever is it so you have to see what actually happens in ozonolysis after that you will be explaining uh, the mechanism of that so here mechanism i think okay examples first i have taught you examples also i have taught you one after the other and before that i have taught you something called mechanism this is very important so you will to try uh, show the mechanism first from the attack of ozone molecule forming mole ozonite from molecular ozone it's going to form carbonyl oxide and then finally that carbonyl oxide combines with the given uh, group and then finally forms ozonide then i have taken how many examples i have taken 1 2 here i have taken 3 4 then 5 6 and 7 examples after that finally i have explained you the uses of ozonols so this is how we are going to explain the reaction students thanks for watching Let me meet you again with the next type of reaction.